Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your October solar session. I am Marlo. If you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend and whatnot. Oh, what's up? So we're going to go ahead and jump into these here cords for you guys. First card out. Don't be freaked out that I'm flipping them over. It's the after terror. I don't read them in the reverse. We have the sun card that is Leo energy and whatnot. Oh, whatever. I just talked about inner child stuff with Gemini. So that's very interesting. So this is more or less like full on happiness. Dagnabbit, son of a gun, Pisces coming into the month of October is you guys being happy within as well as without it's you know your two little naked babies being in alignment with each other your masculine form and your feminine connection with spirit those being in one accord with each other and that translating out into the physical realm so you being honest with yourself child look at these cards look we got the star card that's wishes fulfilled what this is saying to me Pisces it was all about oh my god we got the six of wands child y'all got victory in his daddy come on with it so what is looking like as Aquarius energy by the way so what is looking like is in a sense that's too many cards you guys more or less being honest with yourself about what it is that you truly want like even if you fraternize with it for a little bit it's like you guys kind of making the decision of whether it's palatable, whether it's in alignment with other people, whether it's whatever, right? It's Pisces saying like, fuck it, this is what I want. And it's more or less you guys translating that within to the without. And that puts you into a position where your wishes are fulfilled. Because I'm seeing this very like etherically. So this is more or less like the energy vibration that Pisces are in. Dreams coming true. I'm going to pour into myself. I'm going to focus on what I need and what I want. And I'm seeing with the six of wands, it's more or less things in 3D aligning with what it is that you were desiring for yourself or wanting for yourself. So thus you have like recognition, recognition. I don't know how I was going to say that word just now, but it's more or less you guys having recognition or good news coming in. Are you guys being successful at whatever this endeavor is in reference to? Oh, child, look, for some of y'all, it might be a whole love relationship, child. We have the ace of cups. Then we have the 10 of wands. That's what I'm talking about. Releasing them goddamn burdens. It's like, I feel like you guys kind of shaved down to what is of utmost importance to you, um, Pisces. And I feel like the offer that's coming in for you guys, for a lot of y'all, literally is a love offer. I mean, it could be a love offer from a Leo, somebody who got it in a chart or in Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anywho, but whatever the case, it's a new beginning and something that's very much in alignment with what you want that's going to lead to the 10 of cups. Because, you know, I always look at the aces as a seed, right? And every 10 exists within the ace. But you had to make a decision. So you guys are falling into as well. This is not as paradigm I'm seeing for everyone <laughs> in freaking Libra season. So it's like you had to make a choice. And this is very similar to Gemini, um, where you had to make a choice between, you know, what you thought was right at one point. I can't freaking talk. What you thought was important at one point in time or you thought was the standard or a perspective or the way that you had to do things. And it feels very much to me like it does for all signs. It's a very self-sacrificial type of thing where it was this misconception of thinking like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to just suffer and carry this burden. You feel what I'm saying? for the benefit of other people and it's coming to this realization like fuck it dude i can't do this anymore it's too much it's too overwhelming right and it's like the moment that you elected to release all of this and just focus on what's important to you it's like you're calling this into your life and i think that's like the dopest thing ever because it's just like dude for us to come into the realization that if we stop giving a shit about what other people society you know, our family, our culture, whatever. If we stop giving a shit about what everybody wants from us and we, oh, come on with it, Pisces. If we stop giving a shit about what everyone else wants from us and we were literally to just listen to our own spirit, our own connection with spirit, our own values, our own desires, our own passions. If we were literally to just stick with that, yo, <laughs> right? And like, say, bump everything else. If we were literally to just stick with that, we would actually see forward movement and true happiness and fulfillment and victory in our lives. The only reason why we've all become so familiar with the negative side of life is because we're not living in alignment with our truth. We're living in alignment with other people's truths. And that's why we're always unhappy. That's why all of these cards are always in the reverse. And it seems like everyone's moving, you know, better than us. I always look at this card, by the way, the Eight of Wands is a Sagittarian energy. You know what I'm saying? And oh my gosh, I get to say the, the download that Spirit gave me. 
So sorry to interrupt you guys while you're listening to the show, but I wanted to tell you guys about our new partnership with BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of them, it's an online resource in which you can find your very own friendly local neighborhood therapist, no matter where you are in the world. You sign up and within 24 hours, they match you with a therapist that's right for you. And you can talk to your counselor every week via phone or video chat. You can also text them between sessions. If you or someone you know has been considering therapy, get started today with BetterHelp. Now let's get back to the show. Because of course, with the Eight of Wands, there's a swift movement forward. And I always look at Sagittarius energy as going backwards in order to go forwards, which means I go back and I look at my past. I see choices, decisions that I've made, how those things have pan out, learning from past mistakes. So I know how to hit the mark that I'm trying to hit. But just recently, I got a download and reference to that where spirit told me the shadow aspect of it, which is like Sagittarius energy also has the potential to project. Right. And I feel where this is relevant here, the projection will come in the fact of feeling as if life is against you, right? Like feeling as if like, I always get the short end of the stick and I help so many people and no one's showing up for me. And there's a need for you to deliver yourself with the light of the sun, right? Because we're looking at these two cards for you to go backwards in order to go forwards by seeing that you have free will and no one forced you to do anything. There was you choosing to take on all of these wands. It was you choosing to make someone else's desires and things of the sort more important than yours. And that's the reason why you've never got what you really wanted. That's the reason why you were never fully fulfilled. That's why you never had the victory. You always got passed up for the promotion because you weren't living your life for you. Because truth be told, and I can tell you this from experience, if you say fuck what everyone else is doing and every single day of your life, you're doing what you want to do, what you feel is in your highest good, then you don't give two shits nor a fuck <laughs> about what's going on with anyone else. If you never got a promotion, if you don't give a shit about promotions and, you know, and I mean, on a heart level, like you really don't give a shit. Like I'm not trying to be promoted at this company because I want people to think whatever about me or I don't want my parents to like, I don't give a shit about any of that then if I'm making enough money to sustain myself and I'm Gucci and I can focus on my side projects, then like, fuck that stupid promotion. So it, it would never bother you that someone is quote unquote passing you up or getting chosen over you because that's not what it is that you want. But you have to be clear on what it is that you want in order to move forward, right? Because I always say my definition of success and I feel everyone's definition of success should be looking at where you were and where you are now and what it took you to get to where you are now, that's what success is. Fuck what society says, fuck what your parents say, what anybody says. You getting from point A to point B is a success within itself. And if you start looking at life that way, then any other construct outside of you no longer has power over you. And that's how people can be happy with so little. That's how you can meet a person who lives under a bridge and says that this is the best life that they could ever possibly have because that's what they want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, why would anybody want to live under a bridge? Well, maybe they like that. Maybe they like living off the grid. Maybe they like being a nomad, right? Maybe they like being single. Maybe they like not having children. Everyone in the world wants something different. But it's like how it is that we keep each other. And this is getting into like some Frederick Nietzsche, like Ubermensch type of stuff. But I mean, Pisces, I know y'all here for it. But anyway, but it's really getting to some like Ubermensch, like <laughs> Frederick Nietzsche type of stuff, because the mass populace of society lives by these standards and expectations that people are supposed to live by. And that's how you're palatable and you're able to integrate into society but like, God forbid you ever deviate from what the mass populace is doing, because what the mass populace is going to do is guilt and shame you into feeling like what you're doing that's different is wrong, bad or strange. And then they're going to shun you and maybe potentially subjugate you and marginalize you and then blame you for the problems in society, because that's what humans do. You feel what I'm saying? But whatever the case, it's about you living your life for your true happiness and fulfillment and this totally gets into like a christ archetype type of energy if you think about it i mean like anyone who's been martyred it's just the simple fact that people who are martyrs like even joan of arc <laughs> if we were to go there it's like homegirl got burned alive in peace you feel what i'm saying because she believed that the voice that she heard in her head was spirit she accomplished a great deal and she refused to um like 
betray herself in so many words. They're like, oh, if you wear girl clothes, we're not going to burn you at the stake. And she was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> right. This is what I was told to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, if you renounce this, you know, it's like we won't burn you at the stake. And she's like, fuck you guys. Like, I'm not going to deny the truth that I know. Right. And she went to, you know, to get burned at the stake, didn't fight it and accepted it. And now homegirl is a saint. It's the same thing with Socrates. Socrates had to drink poison because that was like his, you know, death sentence or whatever. But uh, <laughs> it's like he was told because he uh, they called it a domion which was the voice that he heard in his head where all of his wisdom came from. And they told him that if he were to denounce his domion, right, he uh, could go free. But he said that I, I can't. He said everything it is that I know, like everything, and this is me like giving a synopsis, but everything that he knows, everything he's ever said, all the wisdom that he's ever given has come from the like still small voice from inside of him. And to deny that voice, is to deny myself and he drank the poison. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, this is people who are, and those of you who are in the book club of conversations with God, that's the, the things that we talk about. It's like um, a person who, who goes to their quote unquote demise with peace. That's a person who's reached detachment from everything and not in the sense of just like oh like i'm just so spiritual like spiritual narcissist type of stuff where it's like i'm just so non-attached like nah dude it's like it's not saying you don't give a shit about people friends family members whatever but it's like when you have a higher understanding of the fact that you're not in love with 3d it's like our bodies <laughs> fight for life our brains are designed to do that and it's like to fight to be vindicated or to be recognized or to be accepted or to fall in line with a bunch of people who are blind and lost is purposeless because it's a never ending cycle of nothingness because the same people who oppress you and shame you for you being your authentic, because if we go medieval tarot, the star card is speaking about the soul. It's like you coming back into alignment with your authentic self and people are suppressing that. That's what most people would call demonic. But the whole reason why, like if we were to throw in the chariot card here, the whole reason why the chariot doesn't move forward is because those two, your yin and your yang are not in alignment with each other. You feel what I'm saying? That's your yin and your yang. Like they need to be in alignment in order to move forward. You can't have one horse who wants to rest and another horse who wants to move because stuff is going to be all off kilter. So all in all, Pisces, I say all of that to say is like your two fishes is coming into alignment with each other. And that's how it is that you move forward. But the only thing that stopped you guys from moving forward was all of this fear and all of this conditioning that came from people outside of yourself that really don't matter because at the end of the day, you're the only person who has to live your life. You feel what I'm saying? But anywho... That's been your soul session for October. There's no extended because I didn't record in September because your girl been going through a health crisis, child. You know what I'm saying. But anywho, um, I'm going to be putting out more stuff this month, but I just wanted to get these out to you guys because y'all have been telling me that you miss me and I miss y'all too. So that's been your soul session for the month of October. Literally just the 1st to the 15th, but I love your face and I'll see you guys sooner than later, my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Bye, Pisces. Thank you.